company CEO is continuing to meet with President Trump as he ramps up his push to boost jobs in the U.S. Our top executives using the right approach when it comes to dealing with the president. Joining us now from the U.S. Council on Competitiveness is Chad Holliday, Royal Dutch Shell Chairman, former DuPont CEO, former Chairman of Bank of America as well. Chad, welcome back to CNBC. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you very much. Glad to be here. So CEO optimism has soared, jumped the highest level since 2009, according to the latest Business Roundtable sentiment indicator. Do you share your fellow CEO's optimism around President Trump's agenda? Well, we, we, there's a lot of things that the Council on Competitiveness we, we like about what the, the current administration is doing. We're fo focused on those fundamentals to make our country more competitive. You know, at the Council, we're uh, labor unions, research universities, and businesses all trying to find common ground. And, and innovation and co is very much a part of what we think is important for the administration. So what policies specifically? I would think that you guys are looking forward to lower corporate tax rates, making America more competitive that way. Do you worry at all, though, about Absolutely. tax reform getting done after the health care bill failed? Oh, we're very optimistic about tax reform because it makes so much sense for everybody. We just want a globally competitive tax rate. And there's a lot of different techniques to accomplish that. At the council, we're not focused on any particular answer, but we need to make it global so it's an even playing field across the world. Plus, there's so much trapped cash overseas. If we, we could find a mechanism to get immediate infusion into to the federal coffers with bringing that cash back at a rate that makes sense for companies, we think it's a real shot in the arm for the economy right now. Chad, do you think that any provision for bringing that cash back to the U.S. Uh, at a reduced tax rate should or will be uh, come along with any kind of strings in terms of how it's used? Because obviously uh, part of the attraction there is not just to get the tax revenue, but perhaps to have some domestic investment as well. Yeah, this is not the first time the government's done that. With 15, 20 years ago, we did the same thing. I'd go back and take a hard look at what those restrictions were and see if they accomplished the result and perhaps tighten up the restrictions a bit to make sure they're really invested in the future competitiveness of our country. But I think it's definitely the right step to do, and I'd focus on making it happen and make it happen as fast as possible and give a, a tight timeline so companies are encouraged to do it quickly. Uh, Mr. Holliday, just because something needs to happen doesn't mean Washington's actually going to make it happen. Uh, I'm not sure your optimism on tax reform is shared by that many people who are close to the process right now. They seem to think it's much more likely we end up with some sort of tax cut and perhaps, to your point, a repatriation deal of some kind. Will that be enough to uh, make corporate America feel good? I, I think corporate America is really focused on innovation now. That's what we're, we're talking about here at the council. We're actually in meetings today with a broad cross-section of people, and we're excited about opportunities around biotechnology, more funding for energy research. Look at what we've just done on, on, on shale here in this country with uh, Department of Energy funding uh, over a couple decades ago. Now we have the technology to make the shale revolution possible today. So we're focused very much on those kind of steps that we can be taking. And it, any step forward will be a real progress from what we've seen in the last few years. So, so we're quite encouraged that uh, real progress will happen. On the issue of competitiveness and climate change, you probably have an interesting perspective as chairman of Royal Dutch Shell. Recently, the Trump administration started rolling back Obama-era legislation on climate change. He's trying to help the coal industry. Do you buy into the argument that critics make that that actually opens up the door for a China or another global power to take the lead on climate change? I, I, I think the steps that have been taken, uh, the administration will have to make its judge around that. We're still a member of the Paris Accord. And I think that's the right step. You know, at Shell, we believe that uh, climate change is real. And we believe if you look at the, the past 50 years and the next 50 years, clearly the primary cause of uh, climate change is greenhouse gas increases. And that, that's caused by human activity. And we're taking a number of steps as a company with new energy policies and, and more use of natural gas to, to replace coal that we think are the right steps going forward. I don't see anything the administration has done that fundamentally changes the direction uh, that our, our country is headed. And I think it's good for our competitiveness. I, I don't think it uh, necessarily sets us back at all or, or gives us a second seat to China. We just have to keep moving forward together as a so country. So you don't think the coal industry in this country can ever really come back and, and those coal jobs can come back? Is that what you're saying? 
Well, I, I think we just need to look at fundamental economics. And if you look at the economics of natural gas today versus coal, uh, when it comes to power plants, uh, the economics are, are, are pretty strong. But we don't stop natural gas just replacing coal. We also look at it on chips uh, to change propulsion systems we have today and even trucks. So I think there's a lot of opportunity for gas, and, and that's something that we're really strong on in this country. Uh, if Where coal can compete, coal should compete, but I think it's going to be a very challenging road for them. Uh, but you just said you think the Trump administration hasn't done anything that's going to meaningfully change the course. I mean, they did yesterday roll back all of the Obama administration's attempts to uh, introduce more clean power. So they're tr and, and the president does not believe that climate change is real. So you're simply saying you think the marketplace is going to outrun the ability of this administration to change things? I wouldn't go that far. What I'm saying is I think the marketplace uh, looks at the long-term consequences. And, and rolling back a, a, a ruling for a few years or however long it turns out to be or until it's replaced with something else, I still think companies look at fundamental economics, and that's what we're focusing on at the Council. And I just believe you'll find that the advances we made in natural gas, natural gas is made here in this country, you know, has a lot of advantage over coal in many places. It doesn't necessarily require regulations to make that happen. Finally, Chad, does an America first policy make us more competitive globally or less competitive globally if we start to pull back from global trade? I think global trade is critical to our competitiveness. Uh, here at the council, we actually have a federation of councils on competitiveness. We've gone to our counterparts in 25 other countries to understand what they're doing. What we've concluded from all that work for the last five years is that uh, globalization is a plus. Uh, and, and our country should be leading at that because of our technology and capability advantage. Many times we don't focus on the fact that we've got the leading research universities in the world. We're turning out some of the very best technology and we need globalization to be able to be rewarded for that work. So it so sounds like you uh, are fighting for the globalization argument away from the America first. Chad, thank you for joining us from the National Competitive Council. Chad Holliday is the chairman of Royal Dutch Shell, former CEO of DuPont, Mike.